In memory of Henry Willett, 1823 to 1903, Henry Willett was born Henry Catt. He certainly didn't sit on the mat. Through his sister's death, he gained wealth untold. As years passed, he increased his fortune tenfold. A family man with his granddaughter here shown, he did not innovate one display alone. His most inspiring collection is the one here we see, presented to the people of Brighton in 1903. Tis pity that magnets now do not charity his show as Henry Willett did long ago. On the door he knocked, his hands frozen from time outside, the colour of his fingers now turning blue to the knuckles wrapping hard. The door creaked open, an old man stood, hooded in old clothes. His eyes seemed reassuring. Without saying anything, he welcomed me in, the door closing behind me. The fire was warm, the food plentiful. Sit, a voice said, sit and eat. Charity. There's three meanings of charity in the dictionary I possess. One is charitable bodies set up for the needy. Secondly, giving money to those in distress. The final definition is something different again. Tolerance in judging others, I read. Perhaps from when charity was known as cold, when bygone organisations dealt with those in need. Thirty-five rigs moving around England, making 700 boreholes. That's one of the estimates as to how much drilling, fracking, would be going on in Britain. The address is a kind of water jug, which is also the earth. In terms of the Willits collection being everyday crockery, mantelpiece crockery that have to do with issues that are personal to you. So pottery to remind you of an issue. So this represents the earth as, as the jug, the water that we all need. Um, so it's not just the drilling, it's all the chemicals that go into it too.
There's a lot of confusion between oil drilling and fracking, but fracking includes a lot more chemicals. And it's also breaking the rock right under the earth, not just drilling, you're actually breaking the rock, fracturing the rock underneath. So theoretically, if I'm going to frack this, I should insert lots of tubes in there and explode it. I'm surprised it held up, but I think that's exactly the tragedy of the Earth. I think the Earth will hold up, but things will go dreadfully wrong because this is not a jug anymore. Uh, I'm fascinated by like, the idea of like big and small or large and small, you know, and seeing how they look in, in different environments. They look like, a, looks like a door to somewhere. I don't know where, where the door leads. The flask that I picked out with the two men fighting, um, they were both disabled. And of course, in the days when the flask was made, um, disabled people didn't have the help that they did afterwards. Um, they were forced to beg sometimes on the streets and everything. Whereas um, nowadays, um, there is more, more help for them and more help to rehabilitate them so that they can uh, become, it take up something, some kind of occupation. Two old comrades in arms, their severed limbs displayed, meet in the tavern to reminisce. Through their consumption of ale, much bitterness ensues. One claims more knowledge of battles than another. Then enmity comes to the fore. Discarded relics of battle, they enact their own war. These men gave their future to an indifferent nation, yet did not receive sufficient compensation. Ship can he 
charity and the peace it engenders thereof renders the straddling of the kin divide seeing more of the kindred appetite staring wrapped up in swaddling apparel saying kingship pairing olives abide the royal duty springing forth born of ages lifting up society's morals gifting unveiling the perfected wearing tender to the reflected is this slogan repeated worldwide daring In the Bible, St. Paul stressed the need for charity. The word has been replaced by love, I note. I believe he used the word originally for a purpose, for he would have known both when he wrote. I should like to see charity used again without the stigma, with tolerance and humanity in situations. These qualities were shown by Mr. Willett in giving his splendid collection to the nation.